There are a lot of material challenges in getting our platforms uh, into orbit or beyond. You're looking at very severe radiation challenges. You're looking at very severe thermal changes. You're looking at launch loads. Fundamentally, we go from the ground to orbit in under 10 minutes. Human spaceflight demands the very highest standards in repeatability of all of our processing, uh, which includes additive manufacturing. On the Orion capsule right now, some of the initial parts that we've targeted in a collaboration with NASA for uh, insertion of the ESD PEC are the docking hatch panel covers. ESD stands for electrostatic discharge. It's the buildup of static electricity on a part. What we've been working with Stratasys and bringing online here at Lockheed Space is the ability to now print a polymer that is performing at an electrostatic dissipative level. Particularly for something like the Orion capsule, where we have a responsibility to the astronauts on board the capsule. We have the need to produce high quality parts every time without fail. Additive manufacturing is definitely a disruptive technology. You're able to produce parts that aren't able to be produced any other way. What additive has enabled us to do is reduce mass of our parts and actually speed up the delivery of the part at a lower cost. You can use lattice structures to dramatically reduce the weight of a part um, while still keeping it strong enough to meet the mission requirements. This is something that you couldn't do with conventional machining methods, um, but you can do with 3D printing. We can do the same sort of lattice structures with polymer parts, so you can meet the strength requirements that you need, but can still reduce as much of the weight of the part as possible, which is really important uh, for space missions. You have to perform on technical, you have to perform on cost, and you have to perform on schedule. And so what additive manufacturing has allowed us to do is really hit all three of those at the same time, whereas the old axiom was, well, you can only pick two. Stratasys has the consistency needed for repeatable part production. But to be able to fly parts on a human spaceflight mission is really the pinnacle of being able to prove to yourself and your customer that you have the process understood and under control.